Hey, it's me here, and so uh, I'm shooting a video on how to remove or how to how to install new swing arm bearings. All right. Uh, so I've got my swing arm out uh, because uh, somebody crashed into me in a flat track race and bent my uh, swing arm axle. And I and you know I had the swing arm out, and I so I might as well go install these bearings. All right. Um, these are the same. These are these bearings are like four years old. They've been in the bike since I've owned it, and I think it's time to change it. And I bought the bearing kit to replace it with a while back. All right, I got. I think I got this from AmericanSoron.com, also known as uh, DB Off Road. Um, they sell the bearing kits. All right, and surprise, it's the same bearings as the jack shaft. So if if you buy four jack shaft bearings. Um, you can replace your swing arm bearings, all right? So the nice thing is the jack shaft and the swing arm use the same bearings, all right? Now, the swing arm is kind of weird. <laughs> so we'll lie. Um, you would think you would use like a roller bearing or something, like a needle bearing, but um, it doesn't, all right? Anyway, I'll put a link in the description where you can get these guys. Um, also, where you can get some Timken bearings or better bearings, but um, yeah. So... Um, uh, if you replace these bearings, your your uh, primary drive might spin a little better. That's what I want to say, all right? Because it's on the same, the primary drive spins on that same axle that the swing arm is on. So, and so I, I've, I've checked it out, and it looks like the bearings need should be replaced. They're just um, they don't move at all anymore, man. <laughs> so there's four bearings. They're kind of it's kind of arranged in a sandwich, all right? There's there's a bearing on the top, and there's a, there's a bearing on the outside and a bearing on the inside, and then there's a spacer on the inside. However, from what I've read, uh, it, the um, there's a little there's a welding in there, all right, or a little there's a little bump in there that keep that prevents you from pushing the bearing out of the swing arm. So you can't push it out. You've got to gotta like you gotta pull it out. All right. So one tool that you could use to get it out is uh, what's called a blind hole bearing puller, all right? I actually got one. However, it doesn't fit the bearing that I have, all right? <laughs> the, the, it doesn't fit these bearings, Dagum. Um, it's for a bigger bearing. The smallest one is not, doesn't fit, all right? So what this does is it has a little claw. Maybe you can get one that ha that fits that bearing, but this one doesn't, <laughs> unfortunately. It's a Harbor Freight one. Um, but what it is is it has a little claw, and you stick it into the where the bearing, the inner, the the inner hole for the bearing and then you you tighten it and it expands inside all right and it grips it and then you put a slide hammer on it and you you can pull it out all right you, you can bang it out with this but unfortunately it doesn't freaking fit so we can't use it so unless i modify the claw or something all right i don't want to do that mess up my tool um so uh how am i going to do this I watched a Prickly Motorsports uh, YouTube video on how they did this, and so I'm gonna try to do it that way, the way they did it, okay? <laughs> okay, so uh, what they did in the video was they heated up the swing arm with a, uh, what's the word, um, heat gun, all right? You could use a torch or a heat gun. Uh, chances are if you use a torch, you might mess up the paint on your swing arm, okay? So I'm gonna try the heat gun. They they use the heat gun, so that's what I'm gonna use, okay? Um, so yeah, let's let's try it out. But I got the bearings right here. So uh, first we'll uninstall the old ones, and then we'll put these new ones in, and then finally I'll be you know have these installed. I bought them a while ago, never installed them. <laughs> All right, let's begin. Okay, I got the swing arm here. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this plastic cover so we don't melt it, all right? This is the cover for the um, the primary drive, all right? The primary drive sits in there like so, okay? And I'm going to go ahead and uh, take that out. It's just uh, three three bolts, three Allen head okay, bolts. It's a three millimeter, if you're wondering. All right, I'm just going to use just a wrench. Oh, there's, there's four of them, I think. But it's a three millimeter. You just remember uh, the one on the right side, all right, the one that there's only one bolt, um, has a washer on it.
the other ones do not have the washer unless it's stuck on there nope yeah so for whatever reason this one has a washer in it. maybe the previous owner did that i'm not sure but it's, i found it kind of weird how only one of them has washers okay okay here we go so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna heat up this part of swing arm here and then what so the idea here is that the aluminum is gonna because the swing arm is made out of aluminum it's going to expand at a higher rate than the steel of the bearings and so and then so it should just come out um hopefully um what they did is they used the pick and they kind of picked at it and it just came out so that's what I, i'm i've got this little screwdriver here and we're going to pick at it and hopefully it'll come out all right and then once you take one out i'm sure the other one would be pretty easy to take out Okay, so uh, here we go. I'm going to use the heat gun. If it doesn't work, we'll try the torch, all right? So you want to heat around the bearing. Maybe you want to give it a little touch sometimes to see how hot it is. And I'm using about like a, a thousand watt um, heat gun also. It's pretty, pretty powerful on the high setting, obviously. Maybe they might just fall out if they get hot enough. I don't know. <laughs> All right, guys, I've heated it, and I've heated it, and it's not coming out. I'm going to try the torch. <laughs> okay. Okay, what I'm going to use is a propane torch, all right? Now, this will probably damage the seals for the bearing, but we're going to replace it anyways. And it, like I said, it may mess up the, uh, the paint on the swinger. I guess we'll find that out. I gotta just make sure I move it a whole lot so I don't keep it in one one spot for very long. And you definitely do not want to touch it. <laughs> Okay, he's still not coming off. Uh, I'm gonna try some map gas, okay? got it <laughs> all right guys did you get that <laughs> one of them came out i had to hit it for the bottom like this boom okay so now uh we gotta just flip it and then we can kind of press it out now i got the bot. i got the inner one out um man what a mess i had to heat it up a lot guys a lot so some might be more stubborn than others mine looks like the stubborn kind Okay, so now All we're right, just let's make it here. So yeah, I got the inner one out. So let's just take a quick look at it before we take the outer one out. All right, I say outer because it's on the outside of the swing arm. Um, so see, there's a little step here. All right, that's like kind of, it's like a right angle and everything. So that prevents you from pushing the bearing like out, all the, from, like if you pushed out if you push down the bearing here, it's not going to go anywhere. All right. 
you have to push it from the inside out, all right, or or pull it, all right. You can't push it, <laughs> so so that's what's keeping that out. And then so there's this spacer here, all right, and so that goes in there, and it and that spacer helps push on the uh, on the bearing, all right, like like all the other ones in there. It's kind of a stupid design, if you ask me. They should have just used a roller bearing, <laughs> like a like other swingers, man. Okay, but anyway, um, so we're gonna I'm I'm gonna sh try to take this one out using a socket and the bolts. Okay. Okay. So here's what I got going on. I've got this long bolt here. All right, and I've got a half inch, thirteen millimeter. All right, that will fit in here. All right. So this will not touch the step. All right. It has to be smaller than the step. It has to be able to push on the bearing. Uh, we're going to put the bolt right here, okay, and then I've got a, uh, I've got a, a half inch drive 27 millimeter here, okay, so I chose a 27 millimeter because the bearing drops right through it, okay, so we need to have to have something bigger than the bearing, all right, and I'm using this, I think this is an M10 bolt, I'm not sure, okay, and then so you're going to want to get this over the swing arm, let me put it sideways what's going on here okay you want to get this over the swing arm over the over the bearing all right you don't want the bearing to get caught up in it or else and then I'm gonna put a washer here so it presses better and then I got a nut here okay I made it out of a bunch of bolts and stuff that I had lying around okay <laughs> and I'm gonna tighten it And it should push the bearing out, all right? Key word is should. Okay, I've got a 14 millimeter uh, socket and a 14 millimeter wrench. All right, I'm gonna put this here and we're just gonna tighten them. And it should come out, right? doing something but you can't see what what it's doing inside I wish I had like a clear pipe or <laughs> something you know at some point the bearing should just pop out I should probably be wearing my safety glasses too <laughs> I think I should use a bigger sock uh, uh, ratchet too man I must have it. Oh, there we go. Do, 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 do. All right, so at some point it's just going to come right out, right? There you go. Oh, and it comes all the way through. And there's no more bearing in there, as you can see. All right. Where did the bearing go? It's magic, guys. It's magic. That's why they call me Merlin, right? Some magician. The bearing is right inside there. Ta-da! <laughs> you like that magic trick? Yeah, there we go. Okay, so you understand how that worked. The, this pushed on the bearing, all right, through here. And then this pushed on the swing arm, all right? And it has to be big enough for the, this to go through it, all right? It, now, if it's crooked like this, it's not going to come out because it's going to get stuck on there. So you have to make sure you center it right, okay? And then, yeah, and then there's the, uh, the nut and the bolt and everything, okay? So you get how that worked? All right, that's how I got the, which one is this? The outer one out? Yeah, that's how I got the outer one out. Unfortunately, it's not that easy when both of the bearings in there, it's big pain in the ass. Why couldn't they just put one big bearing in there or something, you know? Don't ask me, man. <laughs> okay, well, there's one out. Okay, that's what it looks like. Okay, so there's that step there. That's what keeping you from pushing the bearing out, okay? It looks like all that heat has made the paint fade a little bit, but that's okay. I'm going to see if I can use my press for the next one, all right? These big is trying different things just for you guys. Okay, guys, so here's the reason why we can't use the press. Because the swing arm won't fit in there, all right? this, All this, uh, the... 
this guy, the the anvil, and the uh, and the little deck here, it won't fit, right? It fits it barely, actually. Um, I guess if I can get like a metal plate that's just the right size. Um, so what you would have to do is you'd you need enough space to put a a uh, a socket underneath. Oh, what are we doing? It's this way. But yeah, this doesn't fit. Okay, guys. It will barely fit, so you can see it, it won't fit in there. If we tried to do it this way, we would break the swing arm, okay? We need something to be able to put underneath to support the swing arm, all right? Um, and so we can't get this in there, unfortunately. So that's why, that's why you can't use the press. Because if not, it would be so much easier, guys, I'm telling you. The press makes it really, really easy, all right? Um, yeah. So, I mean, maybe if you could if you could fit this in here, you would still need to have some kind of, uh, yeah, you would have to find some kind of socket or spacer big enough, you know, like that socket I was using. The socket won't fit in there. Yeah, the socket wouldn't fit in there. So there's just not enough space to use to use the press, unfortunately. Um, the, the swing arm isn't wide enough. It sucks. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna have to use the same method to take uh, the other side out. Tor I, I, I suggest just using a torch. Okay, he's <laughs> is gonna try this second method that I found out on the internet. Weld a bolt to the one of the bearings, okay? Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna weld this bolt here, all right? It's gonna be welded to this, and then we're gonna hit it with a hammer on the other side, all right? Uh, it's de it dependent on how good your welding skills are. I, you know what? I'm gonna weld it a little offset. I'm gonna weld it. I'm gonna tack weld it here, here, and here. All right, because there's just not a, there's not a lot of room to. His make is not a very good welder. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> okay. Turn it on and hopefully it works. Did something. Oh, hot, hot, hot. Okay, I think that might be enough. <laughs> Let me see right here. Okay, make sure you use a bolt you don't mind losing. <laughs> okay, that's my handiwork. Yeah, I know my welding sucks, guys. I tried. <laughs> but hopefully that's enough to get it thing. Yeah, I don't I don't even think uh I think it's just gonna fly right out. <laughs> Alright, here we go. This makes a huge mess too. You can see it's all burnt and stuff now. Okay, I'm gonna turn it upside down. Okay, see the bolt there? Now we're just gonna whack it. Hopefully it'll come out. Maybe we might need to heat it up, I don't know, but. Oh, it just popped out. Ouch, it's hot. That didn't work. You need to have uh, better uh, welding skills than Hades Omega. Okay, I'm gonna try it one more time. Yeah, probably put my face mask on. <laughs> oh, something popped, came out, but not the bearing. <laughs> okay, this doesn't work, guys. Yep. Okay, so we're just gonna have to do it the same way I did it before. <laughs> okay. Unfortunately. All right. So what we're gonna do is just heat this up, and then I'm gonna hit it out with a punch.
Okay, so Hayes Mega tried a bunch of things, all right? I'm not going to lie. We tried a whole bunch of things. Um, I tried the air hammer. All right, this guy, unfortunately, that didn't work. It sounded like a good idea. Um, and then we tried... I tried to stick it in the press. It just will not fit in the press, guys. And then... Um, what was another thing? Oh, we tried the heat gun. The heat gun just doesn't get it hot enough. Um, what seemed to work the best is the map torch, okay? You need to heat it up a lot, guys. Heat it up... Um, Heat it up until you see smoke coming out of it. So that's what I noticed. When I started to see smoke come out of it, and I started hitting it, it started moving, okay? it Those bearings are in there tight, okay? And then, when you got one side out, all right? In this case, it was, I got the, in, I took the inside one out first. And so you got to put it side, you have to put the punch sideways, all right? When you're punching it out. So put it sideways, all right? like like this all right and you're gonna hit it like that you're gonna try to hit the, you're gonna try to hit the second bearing all right now go in from the first bearing the but you're gonna try to hit the second bearing with it okay and uh, so what i use is this punch here and a hammer okay uh, and then i heated it up until i saw smoke coming out of it that seems to be the best method okay oh, oh yeah also another thing i tried to do was weld a bolt on there all right and that failed miserably because it's just on there really tight guys maybe if i heated up a lot uh and then tried the bolt method but basically what i did is i welded a bolt all right to i i welded the bolt head all right i stuck the bolt through it and i welded the bolt head to the bearing the inner inner race area and then i tried to and then we tried to hit it we, we would hit the, the the bolt and it would push the uh the bearing out right but it didn't work guys uh, i would hit it hard enough to break the weld or something okay and so these are the spacers that come with it okay i'm pretty sure i messed them up a little bit but what these are these are supposed to do is they're supposed to sit here on the bearings and they're supposed to allow it to to move okay so that you got to sandwich those in there still pretty hot nope and this thing it's a giant piece of aluminum you know so, okay, uh, so I'm done for today, but in the next clip, we'll go ahead and install the new bearings, okay? What a pain in booty. Um, and I think what, what we're going to, how we're going to do it is we're going to use the same method we used to take it out, all right? Except we're going to use, uh, instead we're going to use a socket this time. Uh, we're going to use it to install it, all right? With the, we're going to use the bolt and uh, socket method, Okay. Uh, but anyway, when we come back, his mega is going to do that. All right, his mega.